So I'm gonna get her done. guys what is going on this is outdoor tech it is march 24th and it is one o'clock in the afternoon i just made the three hour drive up here we are in tioga county and this creek is called the pine creek so the game plan is is i got my spinning rod here and i also got my euro nymph rod hooked up to my bag so you know i think at first being that you know i'm never fished this before and the creek is really kind of like a river I'm just gonna, you know, start off by throwing some spinners, gain confidence, hopefully get into a few. And then if I see some nice nymphing waters, I think we're gonna, you know, set up the fly rod and give it a go. So that's kind of the game plan, but you know, I'm just super excited. It's a Friday and you know, I didn't have any classes, so why not make a little evening trip up to here? Beautiful part of the state. And you know, hopefully we could just kind of get into some. So let's do it and yeah. Well guys, here's the paper, Keystone Select, stocked trout waters, delayed harvest, artificial lures only. It's pretty cool, Keystone Select, normally they put some good quality ones in. You guys having any luck? No. No? Well keep after it, good luck. Hello. Having any luck? One. Huh? It's better than nothing. You just get here. Yeah, I just got here. This is like a prime freaking area down here. I don't see why they wouldn't be down here. I mean, this water is moving pretty fast, but. All right, wow. This water is freaking clear as hell, dude. This is cool. First cast. Wow, that is a pretty aggressive current, I will say. Oh, I think we're on guys, let's go. Is this a wild brown? I think just a rainbow. Scissors fell in the water. Yeah, just a tiny little rainbow. I believe. Come on. Oh, wow. No, this is a brown. I just believe stock brown. Definitely not a wild. All right, guys, here's the brown. I don't know if y'all can see it on the camera. There he goes. I gotta get my scissors. Here's where my scissors fell. They've been a problem for me today. Oh, my, this water's so freaking strong. There we go. Oh, guys, we had a follow there. All right. I think we're gonna stay here for a little bit. I just saw one attempt to take my spinner. There we go. Nice little rainbow, I believe. Ah, nice fish, decent guy. Oh yeah. Nothing too crazy big, but that was a cool strike the way he took that. And again, guys, this water is absolutely gin clear that you can see when they take the spinner. Oh crap. 
Stop it! Oh yeah, we got him. Wow, what a pretty rainbow. Rainbow. Probably a little 13, 14. There he goes. On back on down to the dips. Guys, I see a freaking golden. Holy shit. If I catch this golden, I will literally stop fishing and retire. This thing looks big. This is not a good cast at it. This thing is big. Oh my God, guys, we're on. We are on, this thing just ate it. Please stay on, this thing is big. Guys, this is my biggest golden of the year. Holy cow. Oh no, ah, stay on, stay on. Please stay on. Oh my God, no, not in these roots. This thing just obliterated it. This thing is big, guys. Oh my God, stay on. Stay on. Stay out of those roots. I think I'm gonna walk down a little bit just so that I avoid him going into these roots. This is a nice golden. Wow, beautiful. Stay on! No! Yes! Let's go! Wow, what a freaking golden! This thing is big! Oh my god! Let's go! Alright guys, here's the official measure on him. I'm super happy that I got this little tape measure off of Amazon. Um, I mean, this guy curves in my net, so it's kind of tough. I mean, just like this, I would say he is a, uh, I'd say a 23, 24 inch golden rainbow, guys. He's a little bit curved in the net. That's why I added an inch. But, you know, it's not about the specifics. It's over 20 inches and... So, I just caught the biggest golden rainbow and biggest trout of this season. Um, I measured it, it was 23. I, I'm just gonna say 23 inches, maybe a 24, but it wasn't a perfect measure. I just want to get this guy and show you guys. He is a little crazy right now. Here he is, guys. Unfreaking believable. Again, 23, 24 inch golden rainbow on the spinner. I'm I'm at a loss for words right now. We're gonna get this guy in the water. Um 
There he goes, guys. I don't know if you could see him with my head GoPro, but he's right back in the water there. And I am just super thankful for that freaking awesome opportunity. Again, guys, here he is. He's in the water. I could probably... Yeah, there he is. He's swimming off now. Thank you for the fight, buddy. Wow. I don't even know what freaking happened, all right? I just caught the nicest golden rainbow of my freaking life. It's like, you drive freaking three hours and it's like, I know that, you know, the rivers, the creeks, the waterways, they don't owe you anything. They don't care about the gear that you have or the hours that you drive or just the hard work that you put in day in and day out. And just to freaking connect with a golden rainbow first i mean i threw a couple bad casts maybe like one or two and then on a third cast that thing i saw i mean again guys this water is gin clear and i'm using a golden shiny spinner this thing strikes it i set the hook i freaking loosen my drag everything you know worked out it didn't come off i, I mean just everything it's like they just made the drive 100% worth it. I mean, it's always a good day getting out on the water, but let's be real, it is more rewarding when you find some success. It's a freaking beautiful creek. Unfreaking believable. I am just at a loss for words, so freaking thankful. And guys, again, it was 23, I'd say, and I'd really argue 24, although I can't totally confirm that. But I mean, it was, a big freaking golden rainbow and you know I'm just again I'm just so thankful you know I I literally I do this every single day I in the mornings and the evenings whenever I'm not at work or you know don't have life obligations I'm out on the water and you know more times than not I get skunked you know going for wild browns or you know trying new techniques it's like I suck at fly fishing but you know, I'm just so thankful for that. You know, there are so many other anglers that I know that are just so much better. And, you know, I just try to take things in, learn, and just, you know, all you can do is just try your best and get out every single day. And, you know, it's like, it's moments like that that just make me continue to just do this day by day. I mean, I just, there is nothing more alive, maybe other than getting a big buck than connecting with a freaking nice fish like that. My God, I mean, I'm, I'll am i never forget this moment in my life, but you know, enough with the drama. Let's get back to fishing here. I think we're at three fish too. So let's get it back out on this water and let's get some more. Look at this, guys. I believe we got ourselves a little... It's either a caddis. I believe probably just a caddis. Cool little insect. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please. But, yeah. Cool little entomology site. Alright, guys. So, we were all the way up there. We took this trail. We probably walked about a solid mile down. And... I mean, the water, it was just kind of vast, you know what I mean? It's like, there's just no rhyme or reason on where to cast. However, right in here, you have these islands. It's almost like a braided system. You can cast on that side, that side. There's pools down there. It's just, everything's very um, specialized. And I also, walking down here, there's a golden rainbow that I could see. So we're gonna try to stealthfully get down to the bank here without popping a hole in my gazillion dollar sims waiters and maybe we could get this guy and get two golden rainbows on the day that would be a record for me personally two goldens in one day let's see here we're gonna try to get as low as possible here up on the back side here. Oh, I spooked him. Oh well. 
Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. However, right in there seems like some good water, so we're gonna walk down a bit. This creek is so freaking tough to access. Oh my God. I do not want to put a hole in these freaking waders. I feel like just a little finesse tube. It's gonna get it done. I mean, they're all in this freaking water and they were, a lot of the times they were following my spinner, but they weren't committing. So maybe just a slower profile. That's a little bit more flashy and obnoxious. We'll get them to commit. Ooh. We're having something attack it. There we go. No, I'm sorry guys. Jesus, this is like full-blown bank fishing. Like, I'm not like wading in this creek. Oh, this is disgusting. My bad, guys. I'll get this guy on out. Here it is, here's the fish. Does he swim off fine? Yes, he does. I guarantee you though, guys, if I can go over here, I'm seeing a lot of fish rising. I think I might have spooked those. Jesus, this is freaking muddy and loggy. Watch this, guys. This is going to be a first cast type of spot. This is just how this area is at this time of the day. They're Right now, they're in feeding mode. I was literally about to leave, and then I saw... All these freaking fish rising. Now let's see if I see any start to swarm my tube. This is where they're at anyway, a little bit more to the right. Oh guys, all right, we have them swarm and they hit the, they hit the tail part, but they didn't bite down fully on them. There we go. Oh yeah, decent. Oh yeah, decent rainbow guys. I mean, nothing too crazy big, probably a 13. Nice one though. Oh yeah, pretty. It'd be nice if we could get into some browns that are like this. Pretty. Man, this guy's a jumper. Got him right in the nice upper part of the mouth. Should be a nice easy release. What the freak? This thing's on freaking coke. Jesus, Murphy. They don't give up. They do not give up. God. 10 out of 10 little fighter, I will give him that. Oh yeah. I'd say probably, honestly, low key, probably like a 14, maybe even a 15. First, here he goes. Goodbye, buddy. Thanks for the fight. All right, guys, so you know, it is around 6.30. Um, you know, I think we're gonna call it, obviously, but um, it wasn't that crazy of a day. Only caught around maybe five, I'd say, but you know, we caught a nice rainbow in a mix and then that 23, 24 inch golden rainbow, I mean, that in itself was worth the drive. And again, guys, I mean, this creek, it was kind of a tough creek to figure out. I mean, it's not even a creek, man. It's low key, a river. And it's just kind of tough um, to kind of access certain areas and wade it. But I mean, my God, we did so many freaking miles just walking. I mean, I don't, you guys can't really see it, but like that mountain in the back there, I freaking, I walked that trail all the way there. I mean, I walked well over probably four or five miles, I'd say. So, you know, although we didn't catch too much, I definitely got a good workout in and 
you know, again, I don't know if I mentioned, but tomorrow's the Mentor Youth Day, so I'm going to be helping out with that. And yeah, it's just it's constant, nonstop, whether it's schoolwork, fishing, and just living life. So that's kind of the game plan. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I, again, guys, if you're going out to um Pine Creek, I'd recommend if you're not like drifting it with kayaks or whatever, take your bike because there's a biking trail along this creek and you could save so much time just biking and dropping it in in certain points of the river. You know, I believe they float stock this. So, you know, it's just, it's a quality um, stream all throughout. I mean, it's really, it is awesome. And the views, it's just, it's a beautiful area that I think all Pennsylvanians should really visit. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm going to be posting, you know, as much as I can. I go out every single day and, you know, it's just a grind. Most days I have no success, but other days, like today, it's like you, you have that special moment and you really just, you're, you appreciate it because of all the hard work that you put into it that, you know, the camera doesn't really pick up. So, again, I'm done talking. I got a long drive, got to do schoolwork. So, Outdoor Tech out. Peace.